Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Ben Chart. So for today what we do have in here is Ghost Runner, a new game developed by the One More Level developer and they are using Unreal Engine 4. So for this video I'll be testing out the game with multiple settings but my recommendations for best settings for this game it is to simply play the game at 1080p maximum settings. Alright, so taking a look to the requirements, this game only includes the minimum requirements for now and as you can see they are fairly, fairly low requirements, alright? It doesn't mean that the game can stress out your GPU because this game can be very lightweight at minimum settings but at the maximum settings it can stress out your PC. So with 1080p maximum settings I got a good experience above 60 frames per second although if I jump up to 1440p what I do get it is an average of 67 and a 1% of 54, which means that the game did drop from 60 frames per second at some points. But reducing the game to median settings provides a good experience above 60. Although with 4K using median settings, I got an average of 38 frames per second with a 1% low of 29. I don't really recommend you to play with 4K with. Um, with that frame rate because Ghost Runner it is a game which goes very fast. I mean, it is a very fast paced game. Uh, it plays out pretty much like Mirror's Edge, alright? But the difference it is that it is set into a cyberpunk world and your enemies doesn't really act as enemies that you need to stop and face them. They like they do feel like they are obstacles where you need to evade their uh, shootouts or their pistols. The it seems quite interesting game in my opinion. I am very interested in this game because I did love Mirror's Edge. This is a little bit different, alright? Uh, it is much more fast paced and like I did told you the enemies um, are completely different. It is like there is no combat in the, into this game and you just need to traverse this uh, cyberpunk map. Alright, very very interesting stuff in my opinion, in conjunction with excellent graphics. This game also supports DirectX 12 and RTX, but both of them are pretty much on beta state. And honestly, our GTX 1650 Super doesn't actually support uh, ray tracing, so there is no reason for me to try it out. So I decided to play with DirectX 11 instead. So one of the weird things about this is that this is the demo version of the game and the full game there isn't really any release date for the game. For now the game seems to be amazing and at a very good uh, optimization level everything it is working properly but the game it isn't being released uh, anytime soon because they didn't specify the release date. The only thing that we do know is that this game it is set to release this year, the 2020. All right? That's the only thing that we know about the game so far. And for now, I think that's all that I want to talk about Ghost Runner. I prefer for you to enjoy the gameplay and try to understand how this game plays. It is very, very interesting title, something that we don't see every day and that's the reason why I'm so interested in this game. I hope you actually get into, interested also into this game. Alright, so guys, thank you a lot for watching, hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video, and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Tenants found outside their homes will be considered part of the rebel forces and treated as such. A trespasser spotted in the area. to remain in their homes. Lock 
down lifted. Go. to face that is now let's take a look inside this may feel a little strange <laughs> 